Hey guys, this is Chris. This is part three of five for MVC. We're going to be dipping into views in this session. Um, I just downloaded Smarty Templating Engine at, from smarty.net front slash download. Um, we're going to be using this as our template engine just to show you how to render views within MVC. Um, we could have done this manually and created our own template uh, system, but uh, Smarty is, a, is good for now as an example. So I copied the libs directory from the Smarty download and I'm pasting it into the app directory of our uh, app. I'm renaming the libs directory to Smarty. And I'm deleting our old views directory because we won't need it any longer. So, okay, we need to create a few other directories like templates since uh, Smarty, the Smarty directory is taking the place of our views. Uh, another directory called templates underscore C and the underscore C stands for compiled um, cache. We need our cache directory in there and we also need uh, configs. We won't be you know diving into um, compile, cache, and configs. Uh, I'm just kinda laying out the typical structure for us uh, Smarty um, uh, inclusion of Smarty as a template engine into a framework. Uh, if you want more information on templates, compiling, and uh, caching, you can go to smarty.net. Okay, so I'm editing our base controller, as you can see, um, just including a, a class that I am about to create. So we, in our main app directory, we created config and smarty directories. Um, smarty is inside of config, and I'm creating a class called smarty template. Our base controller is going to need this because it's going to pass this class to all our other controllers. So smart class smarty template should extend the main smarty class. Um, okay, just clicking on that to see that it does reference the right path. Here I'm using that uh, bracketed namespacing, but I'm going to go ahead and just remove that. Okay. So. The reason why I'm creating um, an extension of the main Smarty class is I just want to create our configurations right within this class, and it's a uh, it's kind of easier to read anyhow. We know the Smarty is the template, so just name it Smarty Template and include that into the base controller. So here I'm going to be setting our template directory, which we just created, and I'm going to be defining the path to that. Uh, to that directory. I'm referencing the path. So here we have to drill down. So we're using directory name. Directory name. We have to go one directory ahead of the current directory. We actually have to do this twice because we're in config and sm the smarty directory. So smarty template.php lives in two other directories inside of our main app directory. So adding the separator, obviously we're going to be using the Smarty directory and we're just going to append the um, directory separator to the tail of this path. And templates because of course templates is uh, what we need to set this directive to. So Smarty path, I'm typing this all out one more time um, I, I decided to just throw this into a variable since we're going to be setting a few other directives like cache uh, the compile directory and um, the configs directory okay so now I can just use smarty path and then just append the directory so now I need to set my uh, templates compile directory so or here's my cache directory actually I'll I'll set my compiler in a second here. Let's do configs. Let's put config uh I'm sorry, let's put our template uh, compile directory underneath the main smarty templates directory
Okay. So now let's create that home directory inside of our templates directory. And we'll call this index.tpl. Let's rename this HTML file to index.tpl. Okay. And then we'll go to our home controller. And we'll set a uh, value of header. So this template assign. This is how you assign a vi variable value to a smarty object. Header, and we'll just put welcome home here. And now we'll just call a display. So this is the function that renders the view. And we're telling it which view. So home index.tpl. Going to refresh. Okay, so we need to include smarty. Um, there's ways of using Composer, of course, to call Smarty. Um, I'm just going to reference it directly to get this tutorial moving quicker. I'll just do a quick require once and point to our Smarty directory here. And the main Smarty class is smarty.class.php. Okay. Refresh. Non, uh, okay. We have to, since we extended Smarty, we have to reference the main constructor inside of our constructor. So we'll use parent construct. So we'll be running that instead of overriding the main parent constructor. And yeah, why don't we go ahead and use our variable here really quickly. We don't want a blank page. So uh, what do we name it? Header. Okay, so we named that variable header. If, this is smarty syntax, if header is not equal to nothing, then let's display this in an h1 tag. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh this page. Okay, there you go. And it's rendered. That's all for now, guys. Uh, stay tuned for part four of five of the MVC tutorial. Thank you.